Good morning. Welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves. This is going to be for my Virgos. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? Guys, I would like to send a special shout out to all my members, guys. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. For all my subscribers, guys, thank you. Thank you for joining me, guys. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's the overall energy for you guys. What's the overall energy spirit surrounding my Virgos? We have balance. Okay. So for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, this it's like it talks about your stability, realization, what's good for you, what's not good for you. I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy here of acceptance. There's an energy here of I feel I feel like this is kind of more so along the line of justice. Right now, present moment, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about balancing the scales. This is about doing what's right, making better choices. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is an energy here of wanting stability, wanting things to balance out, not rocking the boat. I feel like right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, there's an energy like you not wanting, not wanting to rock the boat. Just trying to balance the scale, trying to make better choices, trying to make wise choices, trying to do what's right. This talks about justice. I feel like that for a lot of you guys, you just want things to be kind of like even Steven, like not wanting to rock the boat. This talks about like wanting reciprocity. This talks about wanting like an equal give and take. You just want things to be smooth sailing. You just want things to be balanced. You just want things to be like, I give you, you give me. I give you respect, you give me respect. I do what I need to do, you give me. Like It's like getting, you give me my recognition, you give me my reward, you give me my, my pay. You pay me what I've earned. You give me the same respect that I give you. This is not wanting anything that exceeds the balance. There's a balancing scale here. You just want balance. You just want reciprocity. You're not asking for much. You're asking for exactly what you're giving in return. Yeah, and you want to get what you're giving in return. You want everything to balance out. Yeah. What's the current challenge, Spirit, for my Virgos? What's the current challenge? Card down. Power. Your willpower. Your strength. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, your current challenges, I feel like oftentimes it's standing up for yourself. I feel like some for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, your challenge is kind of dimming your light. Like kind of like not using your skill sets, the things that you've mastered to, the, to its fullest potential. Because this definitely talks about your willpower. This talks about the power that you have to overcome obstacles. For some of you guys, there's a hesitation. I'm getting an energy of a hesitation in doing certain things, acting certain ways, speaking certain things. I feel like right now, present moment, your challenge is like, for some of you guys, you may not feel so confident in your steps, in what it is that you're doing, in what's next. For some of you guys, it's you questioning even your judgment. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this tells me that for a lot of you guys, you are great manifestors, but there is doubt. So for some of you guys, you're manifesting backwards. This is almost like you're retrograding life. 
because there's doubt in your manifestations. There's doubt in your powers. There's doubt in your skills. There's doubt. That's really and truly what I'm getting here in this energy. For some of you guys, it's almost like lacking the confidence. For some of you guys, you could truly be overconfident but not taking the necessary actions to do what it, what needs to be done. So for some of you guys, there's, a, there's an energy here of you could be like really and truly mastering an ego itself, but also that ego could be blocking you from taking action towards certain things that ego can be a limiting, like there's almost here, I'm hearing like a limiting profit, like speaking certain lacking into existence. It's limiting your actions, limiting your forward movement. Like I can do this, but there's doubt. And I feel like for some of you guys, that doubt itself, the doubt in yourself is what oftentimes limits you. For a lot of you guys, that's your challenge right now, present moment. It's seeing and believing as a C555 on the clock that you got this, that you can do this, that you got this, you can do this. Give me past energy, Spirit. Give me past energy. Oh, abundance. So for a lot of you guys, you've could have come into to some money. For a lot of you guys, life was good. Life started to get good. There was growth. There was abundance. For a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of being full up. Like a very abundant, a very rich life. Being full up. I feel like this is past energy though. This is like at one point in time. Like you were full up. You felt lucky, you felt blessed, you felt fulfilled. This is like you felt like you could do anything. For some of you guys, it's almost like you felt like you had some type of superpower is what I'm getting here in this energy. That's a big, big, big energy. Yeah, that's a good energy. But something here, what is this is telling me, something's changed because it's in, it's in the past position. Give me current energy, Spirit. Whoa boundaries right now present moment a lot of you guys you have a wall up you're in your bubble living your life some of you guys i'm getting like kind of you're living your life in a bubble some of you guys you're scared to come outside of that bubble for some of you guys yes you've had to set certain boundaries you had to block certain people places things situations out of your life that was for your betterment but for some of you guys there's an energy here of you living in a bubble there's an energy here but this energy is giving me like fearful of what's outside like not wanting what's outside to come in for some of you guys it's like our world itself you know our world right now present moment is in all sorts of calamity <laughs> there's like all sorts of calamity that's surrounding us and i feel like for a lot of you guys there's an energy here of you not wanting to know it not wanting to be present or to be existent in it and there's an energy here if you shut the tv off close the curtains turn off everything it won't affect you it won't be a part of your life but for some of you guys there's an energy here of you needing to know there's things that you need to know and it's for yourself it's for your greater good but not only that i'm hearing for you there's things that you can do to make this world a better place so for some of you guys right now present moment you're living in a bubble in the world the earth needs you needs your skill set for some of you guys you have a very healing component within yourself and i feel like your spirit guides wants you to, to come out of that bubble for some of you guys you've had to set healthy boundaries this talks about healthy boundaries as well for some of you guys instead of hiding instead of sh shivering you had to set healthy boundaries to allow yourself to heal and also to allow yourself to get your shit together there's a big big energy for a lot of you guys right now present moment you had to do this to allow yourself to get yourself together yeah give me near future spirit give me near future for my virgos never 
these cards never, never do this. Gratitude. For a lot of you guys, there's an energy here. This is not even about like showing me, yeah, self-love. I feel like as I see 10, 10 on the clock, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is like more on a spiritual level. This is more on a spiritual level. This is like kind of telling me for a lot of you guys, for a lot of us, it's like needing to become like become more spiritually aligned. Like I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of needing to be practical, but also spiritual. There needs to be a very fine line. I feel like right now, present moment, what Spirit is saying is that you guys need to, to be balanced, to bring balance into your life. This is like not focusing on one aspect of life. This is like across the board. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be focused straight up on your money. You could be focused straight up on your marriage. You could be focused straight up on your kids. You could be focused straight up on your education. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of like you're focused on one aspect of life when there is multitudes. There's multitudes. And I feel like for some of you guys, I feel, I feel like that's why... In the very near future, Spirit is saying there's there's gratitude. And I feel like there's an eye, there's an aha, there's an eye-opening moment for a lot of you guys in the very near future. Whereas this is like someone turning the energy, someone actually shining a light on the fact that there that you guys need to be grateful for certain things in your life that's present in your life right now, present moments. I feel like it starts with yourself. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is starting with yourself. I feel like for a lot of you guys, I feel like that's why your conflict right now, present moment, is knowing self, your willpower, your strength, your talents, the things that you've mastered, the power that's within yourself. I feel like right now, present moment, I feel like that's why this is your challenge. Because for a lot of you guys in the very near future, I feel like there's an energy here of finally evolving to the point of truly truly loving self truly truly respecting self and i feel like it starts with being grateful grateful of where you are grateful of where you've come from because for some of you guys there's an energy here of some things could be a little bittersweet right now present moment i'm definitely getting an energy of things could be kind of bittersweet right now present moment and i feel like in the very near future the lessons that you've learned the life that you've lived Certain aspects of your life that you may be a little bittersweet about, upset about, perturbed about. I feel like in the very near future, you're going to find gratitude. I don't know why I'm hearing gracefulness. Like, I feel like for some of you guys in the very near future, you're going to be giving grace to even the people that have disappointed you. You're going to be giving grace to even the people that you once would have shunned or turned, turned your face to, turned your nose up to. I feel like there's a different, there's a change in your attitude. There's a change in your presence. There's a change in your spirituality. There's a change with your relationship with the divine. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, that's what really and truly needs to happen. Because really and truly, that's kind of what I'm getting in this overall energy. Because in the past, I feel like for some of you guys, you know, I picked up this energy a few, like probably a few days ago or sometime last week. Whereas you getting something. And it's like taking a pause. It's like not, it's like, it's like a rat race. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some of you guys, it's almost like giving me an energy of kind of sort of like a rat race. And it's like get, running to the end, racing to the end, not taking time to, to appreciate what's right in front of you, to appreciate what it is that you have, to appreciate the gift that you've been receiving, the gifts that you've been receiving. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to have an aha moment or something's going to be, there's going to be some type of upheaval in your life. Something very, very unexpected that's going to change your perspective when it comes to your relationship with the divine itself. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's like a moment in time when you're like, you know what? I need to become one with the universe. I need to get closer to God. I need to get closer to the divine itself. I feel like this is an energy here of some of you guys realizing that you cannot do it without I feel like if you want, it's like to truly see self, you have to truly see self. This talks about self-discovery. 
Like, I feel like for a lot of you guys to truly see what's up, it's like you have to address, you have to acknowledge, you have to do the work. For some of you guys, there's an energy here of doing shadow work as well. For some of you guys, there is an energy here of even doing some shadow work. I do see that in the very near future, there's a, there's a gentleness. There's a gentleness in this energy. Like, you're going to be, like, there's, there's going to be something that you're going to, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have seen this like this before but you're going to be appreciative there is going to be gratitude for the lessons for the life that you've lived there's some value in it i feel like for a lot of you guys the discernment that you're you're earning that you're getting there's value in this there is a lot of value in this and i feel like for a lot of you guys there's an energy here of Loving yourself, respecting yourself a whole lot more in the very near future. There's a big, big energy of this. Yeah. Show me spirit. Let's get into this. Right now, present moment, your overall energy is balance. Show me balance for my Virgo spirit. Show me balance. So we have the Queen of Wands. I absolutely love when you guys get this Queen of Wands because this talks about like you moving forward. This talks about forward movement, strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but this is like you persevering. This is like you going after. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. It doesn't matter what anybody else believes. This is, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to do what you feel. You're doing what you feel is right. I feel like for a lot of you guys, your overall energy is you're doing what you feel is right. For a lot of you guys right now, present moments, there is an energy of you taking care of the outer, but there's work that needs to be done in the inner. There's an overall energy of that as well. And I feel like that's why balance is kind of like your overall energy is trying to be, trying to do the right thing, trying to make sure things balance out. But I also get, for, I also get an energy of, for a lot of you guys, there's like, there's a very fine line. There is a very fine line. Show me this Queen of Wands spirit. We have the Seven of Wands with the world. You guys are, there's a lot of unfinished business right now, present moment. Because both of these cards came out in the reverse. This is telling me that you have a lot of unfinished business right now, present moment. This is telling me that for a lot of you guys, you're kind of, with that world here, the world is telling me that, you, of course, you do have some unfinished business. With that seven of wands, this talks about your beliefs. This talks about what you are willing to fight for, what you're not willing to fight for. I feel like for a lot of you guys, right now, present moment, there's an energy here of, with all honesty, like fighting for everything. Even if you don't need to, <laughs> like that's kind of what I'm getting in this energy. But again, I keep hearing like, you know, there's a very fine line in this because for a lot of you guys, you want things to be balanced. But this is like taking someone else's thoughts, taking not someone else's thoughts. It's taking, seeing someone else's point of view. This is like listening to what other people have to say. And it's not like changing your course. It's like someone else may know how to do it better. But I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's a stubborn energy of not wanting to hear what anybody else has to say. I feel like right now, present moment, that's really and truly what I'm getting in this energy. Like you guys are like doing it your way. You're not wanting to. It's like you feel like your way is the only way. But this is telling me that it's not. For some of you guys, you may truly feel like your way is the only way. Or for some of you guys, you could be pushing people out the way because you're like, I got this. And yes, while you can do this, I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, that can cause you excessive stress, excessive, like you're taking on, you're taking on. And right now, present moment, it tells me that you got this. Right now, present moment is telling me that you, you're handling it. But I feel like there's, I feel like, there's a lesson behind this. I feel like for some of you guys in the past, in your history, I feel like there's there's like a turning point 
there has been a turning point well yeah while you may have while you may be able to do this this and this while you can take on this this and this that's when that stress builds up that's when you you take on so much you can't do other stuff things that really and truly do require your time so i see right now present moment your overall energy is really and truly trying to do the right thing and i feel like for some of you guys the energy of you doing the right thing is you taking it on you handling it but this is kind of like dictating this is kind of like how do you say that when people they distribute different tasks different assignments to other people this is telling me you don't have to do it all on your own this is really and truly telling me you guys you don't have to do all of this on your own and it's going to work better for you it's gonna it's going to balance things out better for you for a lot of you guys you you being in charge is what's best but it's there's an energy here of you distributing there's an energy here of you you being the boss of the situation but you don't have to take on all the tasks you don't have to take on all of the responsibilities you don't have to do it all you can i keep hearing it's like i'm it's like the word is like at the tip of my brain it starts with a d <laughs> and you can distribute these tasks there is help for some of you guys like right now present moment there is a lot you have a lot going on you have a lot a lot going on and you're really and truly trying to do the right thing but for some of you guys you're wearing yourself down right now present moment yeah show me power for my virgos show me power Two of Pentacles, again, this talks about balance. This talks about balance for some of you guys. Yes, I understand you got this. I understand you can do it. But you're juggling a lot. You're juggling a lot. And you know what I'm also getting for some of you guys? You could have your hands in so many different things instead of focusing on one thing. For some of you guys, you are the chief and you know how they say the chief and the indians there's plenty you have plenty of little indians you're the chief you need to distribute some of those tasks some of those responsibilities over to your indians because as i see two 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 on the clock because that still is that's still right like that, that's still justified that's still balancing i feel like it's also balancing your energy so you don't drain yourself so you don't run yourself into the dirt I feel like that's still balancing for some of you guys you're taking on everything that your boss throws at you instead of actually saying standing up for yourself or, or actually like asking for help you're so used to taking it all on for some of you guys you have a lot going on at work and you have a lot going on at home and instead of actually speaking up for yourself instead of actually distributing some of those tasks to up uh, to other individuals because for some of you guys there is people in your life that has said to you that has enunciated i can help if you need the help i am available if you if you need it and you're still trying to think you're still thinking okay the only way this is going to be done right the only way this is going to get done is if i do it myself that energy is actually taking over this reading that energy is actually taking over this reading yeah Show me. Page of Pentacles. I feel like that Page of Pentacles talks about an offer here, but there is, there's something about the offer. For some of you guys, your current challenge is not having, not having enough. Your current challenge right now, present moment, is like not having enough, trying to work with what you have. For some of you guys, you don't want others to know the struggle that you're experiencing. For some of you guys, because you yourself, you have, you're this energy. And for some of you guys, right now, present moment, there's a struggle here. You're trying to do everything right. You're trying to balance. I'm hearing some of you guys, you're trying to balance your books. But there's an energy here of not wanting others to know your struggle, how the struggle is real, how things are not as they may seem. 
there's a big energy of that right now, present moment. But that's your current challenge. I feel like for some of you guys, your current challenge is just not having enough, not having enough resources, not having enough pay, like not just not having enough. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. I feel like for a lot of you guys in the past, there was, there was a lot of, there was someone in your life that made you feel loved. But not only loved, like someone saw you, someone made you feel, I don't know why I'm hearing classy, classic. Like, there's someone in your past that made you feel abundant. For some, for some of you guys, there was that you yourself you felt abundant, you felt loved, you felt seen in the very in the past. There's a big, big energy. Show me this abundance. Show me this abundance for my Virgos. So we have the Four of Cups with the Nine of Wands. See that for a lot of you guys, but there's an energy here of a missed opportunity. There's an energy here of things changing. Like there's, there's a true energy here of something that was once celebrated became questionable. There, there, you, you were wounded. Someone was wounded where there was love, where there, where there was a feeling of richness in each other's presence. Because this is what a person, this is what a person, for, for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of living your best life, be, feeling loved, like there's an energy of like, it wasn't, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody that was abundant. For some of you guys, you and someone being together pro made that energy like that abundant energy that very fulfilled energy there's a big big energy of that but for, for with that four of cups is telling me like something that was once celebrated became very questionable for some of you guys it became boring some of you guys somebody just kind of got over it for some of you guys there's a missed opportunity in this love in this connection why because i feel like for someone here they it's like they loved but I feel like for somebody here, somebody loved with material wealth. They didn't, they didn't show that true love by enunciating it. I feel like for some of you guys, there's, there's, there's not a match in the energy. There wasn't a match in this energy. And I feel like somebody, I'm getting an energy of somebody's ego being wounded in the, in the past. I feel like there's an energy here of somebody's ego being wounded in the, in the past. Now this could have been your ego or this could have been somebody here that you were dealing with. Yeah. Right now, present moment, some of you guys, there is boundaries being laid out. See that? Right now, present moment, some of you guys, you're living in a bubble. Yes. Show me these boundaries, spirit. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. This talks about divine timing. This talks about patience. Again, this talks about balance. <laughs> There's a lot of... Let's do this right. There's a lot of that equal give and take. There's a lot of match my energy, match my love, match my respect, match my worth. There's a lot of energy right now, present moment for a lot of you guys. It talks about balance. It talks about being patient. It talks about give me what I deserve or get out my way. That's what I'm getting. Like give me what I deserve or get out my way. Show me spirit. Strong Sagittarius energy. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This tells me in divine timing, you're going to get everything that you're going to be exceedingly happy. This tells me in divine timing, you guys, you're going to be exceed, exceedingly happy. Exceedingly fulfilled. That's a nice, nice energy. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. There is a new spark. Right now, present moment, there is a new spark. For some of you guys, right now, present moment, you're actually happy. Like, I, I, and I like that because, you know, it just came and I looked down and I'm like, hold on. This is telling me right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, you're happy and you're happy in your posture. You're happy just as you are. 
like even though there's some little some little hiccups <laughs> there's some little hiccups there but i feel like right now present moment there's an energy here of you guys not wanting it any other way i feel like there's an energy yes and you have there's a new spark here for some of you guys there's a new romantic spark for some of you guys there's a new creative spark for some of you guys there's a new pep in your step something that's exceedingly making you happy something that you've been patient for and for some of you guys you're living in your own little bubble right now present moment for some of you guys you being in this bubble right now present moment is what's making you exceedingly happy for some of you guys this is you protecting yourself from the outside world staying away from all the junk i'm hearing in any aspect of your life just kind of staying away from all the junk that's really and truly what i'm getting here in this energy but it's actually making you exceedingly happy right now present moment yeah now in the very near future i do see grat it shows me gratitude so there's something that you're going to be thankful for in the very near future show me spirit show me Show me gratitude. So we have this seven of cups. You're going to have options, but with the magician here that came out in the reverse. I feel like you're going to have plenty of options in the very near future. You're going to have a massive amount of choices, opportunities in the very near future. But this is about you choosing wisely. This is about you choosing wisely. I feel like, because I have power and I have the magician, it starts off with that power and it ends with that power. It starts off with your willpower. It ends with your willpower. It's your challenge right now, present moment, but that challenge is still kind of there in the very near future. That challenge is still kind of there in the very near future. I feel like you're going to be exceedingly happy by your by the choices that you have, by the opportunities that you're going to have. I'm getting an energy of you're going to be exceedingly happy. But this is not until you have to be happy within yourself to make the proper choices. You have to use your discernment and your intuitions to make the proper choices. For a lot of you guys, this is you this is about you communicating honestly. For a lot of you guys, this is actually you communicating with self honestly, being real with yourself. I feel like for a lot of you guys, until you get to the point where you can truly be real with self, what do you want with yourself? That's the only way that you're going to be able to make these choices wisely. I feel like, yes, there's going to be a lot of things that you can be great, grat you can be happy about. There's a lot of things that you're going to be showing the divine great graciousness. I don't know why I keep hearing graciousness, but th th this shows me gratitude. You're going to be happy. You're going to be exceedingly happy because you're going to have a lot of opportunities a lot of decisions, a lot of choices, but it also talks about you needing to use your discernment. This talks about you needing to use your skill sets. This talks about you needing to, to use your power. Because I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy here of there's something that could, there's something, there's something of a warning that something could look too good to be true. And unless you're one with self, unless you have self-love, self-respect, unless you actually really and truly know that you have to co-create with the universe unless you really and truly you you're like this is a, this is like you truly tapping in i feel like for a lot of you guys this is like you truly truly tapping in this is about you because i do see like you're going to be collabing you're going to have an opportunity to collab you're going to have an opportunity to work with others there's going to be other people in your energy so there's going to be other influences I'm definitely getting an energy in the very near future. There's going to be other things and other people that's going to be influencing certain aspects of your life. This is about you using your intelligence. This is about you using your power. This is about you not allowing anything to manipulate your choices. What's good for you. But I feel like it starts with your self-love. It starts with your own self-discovery. It starts with your own self-respect. I feel like for a lot of you guys, yes. I feel like that's where it starts. Big, big energy big energy show me spirit what's your advice what's your advice spirit for my virgos
what's your advice? Humility. I picked up this energy when we were first, when I first started this reading. It says, allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every day and delight in receiving it. You see, that was that overall energy of what I was getting here, that it kind of overpowered this reading. This energy kind of overpowered this, this reading. It's accepting the right assistance. Throughout this reading, it's about... Assistance is there. Assistance, like you, some of you guys, you need assistance. For some of you guys, assistance is there. But it's also accepting the right assistance from the right people at the right time. I feel like you guys will know, but you need to use your intuitions and use your discernment. Use your intuitions and use your discernment. You're going to know what's real, what's not real, who's real, who's not real. You're going to know when you need assistance and when you don't need assistance. You know, you know better than anybody else. Just listen to that voice that's humming, humming to you from the inside out. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, bye guys.